Hi guys, this is Data Gyan, and today I have come up with a new use case. This use case is quite widely used, and uh, you can expect a question here and there. So this is a very basic thing, but you require the knowledge of over clause to overcome this problem. Otherwise, the result will come, but it will not be what the interviewer is asking you. So consider a table like this, in which you have ID, name, and salary, and IDs are one, two, three. Four, so name will be A B C D, and salary is one thousand, two thousand, three thousand, and four thousand, and this same block is repeated three times, as you can see over here. What the interviewer will ask you is like you have to print the salary of the same name, uh, A one hair, and A one hair, and A one's hair. So one thousand plus one thousand plus one thousand, so it gives you three thousand. So the interviewer will ask you to print three thousand in front of all the A's, and in front of B similarly they will want you to add two thousand plus two thousand plus two thousand. So it will be six thousand, and they'll ask you to print in that way. So in this scenario, basically the first thing that comes into mind is like we will do a group by, and then we'll print the results. So first we'll think in that way itself. So let me create a table for you, so that we can proceed with this. So let me create it. So you can see the table has been created, and I have inserted the same value as you can see over here, one, 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 and A with the same names and same salary three times. So let's see how our table looks. Selecting start from SQL one. So if we do that, you can see the same table I have generated over here. So according to the first approach that strikes in the mind, that we'll do a group by. Okay. So if we do the group by, let us see what happens basically. So let me do the group by. So what I'm doing, I'm selecting ID, name, and salary. That is our schema itself of the table. And what we are doing, we are aggregating the salary, and it, and we are grouping it by the ID. So what we are doing, we are just telling the SQL to just give us the name, ID, and salary with the sum of the salary, and group it on the basis of ID. If we don't group it on the basis of ID and we group it on the basis of name, same result will come. So let me do that. So here you can see, A has got three uh, thousand, B has got six thousand, C has got nine thousand, and D has got twelve thousand. So you can group on the basis of salary also. Same result will come. So this is the first approach that strikes in our mind that if we do a group by, and uh, if we Just bring out all the schema columns. It will uh, bring the same result that the interviewer is asking. So this is a tricky question. In this question, interviewers just basically want you to like do a group by and give this kind of a result, and then he will tell you that this is not what I was asking for. He is asking all the A's should have three thousand, all the B's should have six thousand, all the C's should have nine, and similarly D should have twelve thousand. But this is not sufficing our use case. And if you tell this answer. He will surely reject you. So what we can do, what we can do is like there is a, a clause name as over clause that I have used in our previous videos as well. So th that time I was using over clause with row number, rank, dance rank, these kind of things with the window function. But this over clause is very powerful, and you can use it to bring aggregated plus non-aggregated column in front of uh, like your table. So here you can see in front of A's. The aggregated three thousand sum is there, so I'll tell you how this uh, you can achieve. So basically, what you can do is like you just want to use a over clause with this. So let me curate the query. So here you can see sum of salary is already there, right? So I, what I'll do, I'll do a over clause over this, and what I'll do, I will just bring P A R T I partition by name, okay, and I'll remove the group by. Because the grouping will be done automatically on the basis of partition, okay, and just give it a alias as total underscore salary. So if we run this query, okay, something I have missed. Sorry, the spelling was wrong. So if we do this now, you can see ones are having a a a salary thousand thousand thousand. And total salary three thousand. So this is what the interviewer was asking you. Basically, he wanted to 
uh, ask you how you can print these non-aggregated columns with the aggregated columns together. And similar, you can see for twos, same thing has happened. So 6,000 has come. For C is 9,000 has come. And for D, 12,000 has come. So this approach, what we usually call it as, we call it as aggregated plus non-aggregated over uh, with the over clause. So whenever you have to just uh, think about it, if the interviewer is asking you to bring all the data, all the sum of the salary or count of the salary or count of the numbers and print it like only once, then you can do group by. But if the interviewer is asking you, don't change your table. I want the same schema, but I want the aggregated columns as well in front of each of the schema. Over there, group by will not work. Over there, you have to use the over clause. Okay, this is a very powerful thing. So if you do the aggregation sum of salary with over and you're partitioning it by name, it will bring you like this. Okay, you if you want, you can partition it with ID also. Let us change the name and let's partition on the basis of ID. Still, you see the same thing coming up. Why this is happening? Because I am creating a partition on the basis of cell, uh, IDs now. So IDs are 111. So I created a, on the basis of that. Names are also same. So I'm creating a partition on the basis of name. These three will be picked and salary will be summed. So 1000 plus 1000 plus 1000, it's 3000 and 3000 will be taken out of this. But because I'm using over, it will give 3000 in front of all the uh, rows. Okay. So the, in this way, you can have aggregated plus non-aggregated column together in a single table. So I hope you would have learned something out of this. Mm -hmm.